Hello, I'm Peter Gregory, Director of HR. Today I'm going to talk about the arrangements for working remotely, how we're planning for a safe return for camp to campus, and what the future looks like for jobs. It's nearly two months now since lockdown started, and it's amazing to see how quickly we've all adapted to such radically different ways of working. In early May, we surveyed you about how you were managing and what more support the university could provide. The results have been published and it's encouraging to see that so many of you thought that the communication and support have been so strong. But you wanted more done to make it easier for you to work remotely. One action we are taking is to encourage colleagues to complete display screen equipment assessments so we can improve working conditions at home. With lockdown easing, people are starting to think about a return to campus and are understandably worried about the risks. Let me be clear, we will not allow the wider community back to campus until risk assessments are complete and measures are in place to minimise those risks. There's a project group working on that now and they're considering many issues including social distancing, phased start and finish times, protective equipment, screens, and many other measures. And we all need to consider the longer term too. The past few weeks have shown us just how efficient and productive we can be without having to be physically at work. I'm also mindful that there are colleagues who may be shielding due to underlying health conditions or may be self-isolating or caring. We'll continue to do all we can to support, to support all colleagues as we transition to a new normal. The output of this work will be published in June in our new COVID Secure Campus Guidelines. So what's the outlook for jobs as we look ahead to the new academic year and beyond? Across the higher education sector, significant reductions in student numbers are expected. New entrants may defer, some students may not return and international student numbers may be affected and some of our competitors may be targeting our students to fill their gaps and other income streams like summer schools, conferences and student accommodation could be hit. The rapidly changing public health and policy environment makes it extremely difficult to forecast with any certainty so we have a wide range of scenario plans in development. Those scenarios not only cover possible outcomes of a September intake, but also whether there will be a swift recovery, what's being called a V-shape, or a swoosh, or even an L-shaped recovery over the next two to four years. So while we have to plan for the worst, we're all working hard to get the best possible outcome. So, for example, some colleagues have been redeployed into recruitment and student facing services to help improve retention and get our message across to prospective students. All scenarios we are currently planning for highlight a need for savings in the next academic year. The Vice Chancellor and President has made it clear that our focus is on cutting expenditure only where it can provide a basis to build for the future. We recognise, however, that potential revenue reductions could impact on employment. Once our planning round is concluded, and these scenarios are updated to changing environmental factors, we'll be engaging with colleagues together with union representatives to discuss the options. So, although there may be tough challenges ahead of us, the past two months have shown once again that we're resilient in adversity. And, it, and if we all pull together with courage and passion, we can emerge stronger than ever. Thank you for listening and please stay safe.